2005, the dream was always to make a personalized learning engine. The videos came later as a way to complement the personalized learning engine. And what I'm super excited about is it, it feels like what we launched a, a couple of weeks ago finally gets us pretty close there. We, we're now, you know, Khan Academy is now much more than me. We're a team of, of 40, 47 full-time folks, and then we have volunteers and contractors around the planet who are helping us with things. And, and what you see here is that and this is all free, it's all available, we're not for profit. If anything, if you or your children want to go to the site today, log in, they're going to see part of the test. And that free test is literally an adaptive test. It's using the state-of-the-art item response theory, has a has a statistical model going on in the background. But as your you or your child or whoever answers eight questions and adapts based on what they're getting right or wrong, it's building a statistical model of what the student actually knows and, and what they and what they don't know. And once it's built that model, you see in the, the top part, those, those, those blue, different shapes of blue squares, that's kind of a, a collapsed version of that knowledge map that I showed two slides ago. And the general, each of those squares are one of those concepts in mathematics, and the, the, the darkness of the blue shows how well that a student mastered it. So after that pretest, it's really trying to adapt to the individual student. Each of what those, those you know, quotient rule, writing proportions, that's what it's now recommending for, this is actually my account, what's recommending for this user. And you see on the right there, the mastery challenge, it's not just about one time passing. I, I think we've all had the experience of, you know, even if you've got that 100% on basic exponents, six months later or after the summer, a lot of that material is, you, you've lost it, you've forgotten it, it it's, not as, it's not as deep in your memory. And it, there's also the issue of, in a traditional school model, when you take the exam, you know that this unit is on basic exponents. So you know that you have to apply basic exponents to every question. You know the next unit is on systems of equations. So you know that everything you're, gonna, you're going to do a, a similar type of process. But we know that the real world doesn't work that way. Even standardized tests don't work that way. You don't know what the next problem is going to be. And you might have not seen it for a while. So instead of just saying, hey, you know this, move on, that will get you to the light blue stage, but then to get different levels of mastery, we call it, level one, level two, level three mastery, you have to go through those mastery challenges. And those essentially will sample from a bucket of everything that you've mastered in the past, and we're looking at the models, looking at the knowledge decay of, of what someone likely knows and what they don't know, and we're going to give you kind of a, a, a mixed bucket of questions to make sure that you, you still know what you knew weeks ago or, or months ago or years ago. So what we're, what we're super focused on and, uh, is, is, you know, the Common Core came out a couple of years ago, and when it first came out, I was, I was somewhat skeptical of it. I, I said, you know, this is just another standard, we have so many standards, you know, kind of re-engineering standards by itself didn't really seem like a, a way to, to really move the dial. And, and when it first came out, you know, the, the, the standards, when you read them, you say, well, they could be implemented in a, in a bunch of different ways. Uh, and that would really determine whether the standard is, is effective or not. Uh, what, what I've been impressed by, because our, our goal at Khan Academy has always been we want to do the best possible math experience, the best possible physics experience. And it's not just for the U.S., it's for, for the whole world. But what I've been very impressed by, uh, talking to, to some, actually both of the, the consortia that are working on assessing the Common Core, and also the authors of the Common Core, that they're really serious about this being about really deep mathematics. That this isn't just about, you know, can you, can you solve, uh, you know, uh, the, the, can you factor a polynomial, but can you understand when to apply it, can you understand at a deeper level, do you really understand math at a, at a conceptual level? So we've been working with uh, really a ton of math experts, professors, uh, graduate students, to write, and that we now have over 100,000 items on our site, uh, uh, about 10,000 are directly, are directly aimed at the Common Core, and our goal over this coming year is to have really the full Common Core implemented within Common, Khan Academy in a very deep way, working with content experts, working with the, the authors of the Common Core. So it's not just a superficial mapping of what existed before, but for it to be really uh, deep conceptual learning. And 